Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to obtain the Marilyn series of e to power sine inverse x. In this video, we are not going to apply the conventional method. Since when we differentiate this function, we will obtain a complicated function. And if you want to differentiate further, it might be difficult. So what we have to do here is let fy be equal to e to the power of y where y is equal to sine inverse x and we just have to differentiate this so from here we will have f0 is equal to e to the power of 0 which is 1 and now let's differentiate for the first time we should obtain e to the power of y so again at point 0 we obtain 1 again and this we can make a conclusion for any value of m we will definitely have e to the power of y. When y is equal to 0, we will definitely have 1. And this is applicable for all the values of n starting from 0 and so on. And we can now express the function e to the power of y as a series. Firstly, refer to the value that we have at point y equal to 0 at any value of n we have 1 so which means that we always have 1 if you want to refer to the 0 order we should take over 0 factorial and the parameter y to the power of 0 next after 0 order we should move to the first order so which means that we take 1 factorial y to the power of 1 and the value is again 1 and next we add move to second order so 2 factorial y to power 2 also the value is always 1 so we times 1 and so on so next we should have 1 over 3 factorial y to power 3 next we have 1 over 4 factorial y to power 4 and lastly the question asks us to express the first five terms or the term including x to the power 4 4 then basically we can stop here otherwise we should express further let's determine the value so we have 1 divided by 0 factorial 0 factorial is equal to 1 so 1 over 1 is still 1 anything power 0 we have 1 so 1 times 1 is still 1 and we add 1 over 1 so 1 times y so we have y here add 1 over 2 factorial 2 factorial is equal to 2 so which means that 1 over 2 y square 3 factorial is 6 so 1 over 6 y cubed and add 1 over 4 factorial is 24 y to the power 4 and so on since we have settled the Marilyn series for the function e to the power of y, now let's settle sine inverse x. Also, we need to differentiate. So differentiate y is dy dx. Differentiate sine inverse x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Or in other words, we have 1 minus x squared to the power of negative 1 over 2. By comparing to the formula of the polynomial theorem, we can say that a is equal to negative x squared and n is equal to negative half. By using this idea, we can substitute into the formula that we have. So which means that dy dx is equal to 1 plus n which is negative half times a which is negative x squared and we plus n which is negative half times negative half minus 1 divided by 2 factorial and we times negative x square to the power of 2 since we have power 2 here and we don't have to express further since this is already up to the term x to the power of 4 basically we can stop here next let's evaluate the value so which means that we have equal to 1 negative negative positive and we have 1 over 2 x squared next we have negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial is equal to 2 negative 1 over 2 minus 1 which is negative 3 over 2 so negative negative positive and we have negative square which means that will still be positive 1 over 2 times 3 over 2 divided by 2 which is 3 over 8 and we have x to the power of square square 4 and so on what we need here is y instead of dy dx but that's a matter we know that when we integrate dy dx with respect to x we will obtain y because integrate differentiate cancel each other 
dx cancel with dx so we left only y so if we integrate the series with respect to x we will definitely obtain the Marilyn series for the sine inverse function so this is equal to integrate 1 is x when we integrate always remember that power plus 1 over power plus 1 and for the next term we have 3 over 8 also power plus one over power plus one as we can see the power already to the power of five but what we need is only up to power four which means that this term can be ignored in other words we don't want to evaluate also doesn't matter and we don't have to add the constant c because if let's say when we substitute x is equal to zero for the function y is equal to sine inverse x we will obtain y is equal to zero which means that the constant is nearly zero or can be ignored let's evaluate so which means that this is equal to x plus 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 so 1 over 6 times x to the power 3 and so on we have the Marilyn series for e to the power y and y and now we can determine the Marilyn series for the function e to the power of sine inverse x which means that instead of using e to the power of y we can change back to sine inverse x so which means that this is equal to 1 plus y is equal to this series if let's say we don't want to keep writing plus dot 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 instead of using exactly equal we should use approximately equal so we should write x plus 1 over 6x cubed and we can close the bracket directly since this is approximately equal and we add 1 over 2 with times x plus 1 over 6x cubed the whole thing squared and we add 1 over 6 times x plus 1 over 6x cubed to the power 3 and we add 1 over 24 times x plus 1 over 6x cubed to the power 4 also no need to add dot 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 since this is approximately equal so which means that this is approximately equal to 1 plus x plus 1 over 6 x cubed and we add for this we can expand the square term so we have 1 over 2 every times remember this is a plus b squared so which means that we should have a square plus 2 a b plus b squared when we take b squared x power 3 to the power of 2 we should obtain x to the power of 6 which is already more than 4 so we can ignore that term and we add 1 over 6 so we have cube for this time so which means that x to the power of 3 if we expand using this cubic function which means that we should obtain x to the power of 5 for the next term also more than 4 so basically we can ignore as well and the last term we have 1 over 24 x to the power 4 also others can be ignored since already more than 4 so this is approximately equal to 1 plus x and the next term should be square so we should refer to square and we can find only one term with square which is plus 1 over 2 times x square next term we should move to x cube we have 1 and 2 terms this is x times x to the power 3 which is x to the power 4 so we should take note here this is not x cubed so from here we can see that what we have here is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 in other words 1 over 6 times 2 which is equal to 1 over 3 so we have plus 1 over 3 x to the power 3 and next we have x to the power 4 term so which means that it's here and here so in other words we should take 1 over 2 times 2 cancel each other no more so which means that we take 1 over 6 and we add 1 over 24 so which means that we have 5 over 24 and times x to the power 4 and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching i will like this see you